So here's a quick lesson on how to solo over a dominant 7 chord or how to use the chord tones of just the dominant 7 chord and create some phrasing out of it. Now let's take an example of a C dominant 7 chord. You can take anywhere. Now I assume that you know that a dominant 7 chord is formed from the root 3rd, 5th and the flat 7th of the major scale. So the very first step that we are going to do is we are going to take uh, we are going to take the arpeggios of a dominant 7 C dominant 7 chord in three different set of strings. So we are going to form a group of uh, A D G that's the first three set of strings then the next group of strings will be D G B and the next group of strings will be G B E. So these on these three set of strings we are going to arpeggiate the C dominant 7 chord. I want you to visualize and practice these three shapes as the step number one. The last one that I took you can play in the lower octave as well. The same exact shape but just different octaves. So let's try and understand these three shapes. Um, the very first shape that I took was on the set of ADG strings. So this is the root note that I'm playing on the A string which is on the third fret of the A string which is the note C then the third is on the D string fifth is also on the D string one three five and the flat seventh is on the G string so you can practice you can practice back and forth to just visualize and get used to the exact shape the next shape is over here on the D G B strings so the first three notes is a triad itself which is 1, 3, 5 on DGB, 10, 9 and 8 fret numbers, 10, 9, 8 on DGB strings and the flat 7 is on the 11th fret of the B string. So 1, 3, 5 flat 7, C, E, G, B flat and the last shape, shape number 3 that I took was over here, so C, E, G, and B flat. So I started off with 17th fret of the G string, 17th of the B string, so C, E, G, 15th fret of the high E string, and 18th fret of the high E string. So C, E, G, B flat. The same exact thing if you want to play in the lower octave, it, it goes starting on the fifth fret. Like that, same exact thing. Now once you know these shapes, what you do is you just put on a metronome and practice these shapes back and forth. You can just, you can do the reverse. So just get used to those shapes. So now I will show you how you can create the phrasing out of the notes of just the dominant 7 chord. So, I've kind of created this um, four to five different phrases using just the notes of a dominant seven chord. So I'm going to loop a C dominant seven chord, a rhythm of C dominant seven chord in the back and I will play those four to five, five phrases to be exact and I'll just play it for you first and then I'll break it down, I'll slow it down for you to understand the notes that I've used. Here we go. So I'll play the same exact phrases in a slower tempo now and then I'll break it down to the notes that I have played. Here we go. So let's try and understand the notes that I've played. I began with the third of the scale, which is the third interval, which is, I started off with this shape that we had visualized, which is shape number two. 
So I started off with a slide to the third. Then this is the G note, which is the fifth. Then a bend from a flat seventh to the root. So all the notes of the C dominant seven. Same notes of the C dominant seven chord. Then I played this. The second phrase that I played was. Now this is coming from the shape number one, which we practiced. It's starting from a pull off from the root, which is a note C to the flat seven, fifth, third, and the root. It's kind of a reverse. Then I'm playing the lower octave, fifth, flat seventh, B flat, back to the root. So, so the same exact notes of a C dominant seven, just a reverse lick. The next phrase that I played was, it's strictly starting from the one, three, five, seven. Now this is, the third one three five seven one three five flat seventh the third which is the note e then i'm kind of giving a pull off from the root because this is the c note to the third now this is again the um, flat seventh and flat seven slide from the flat seven to the root again so all the notes of a c dominant seven and i started off with kind of muting it The next phrase that I played was, so it's kind of coming from the shape number three that we practiced, the chord tones of C dominant seven in the grouping on the on the GBE strings. So I'm also kind of playing it in offbeat, starting starting the notes in offbeat and playing it playing around in time, in different beats. So it's kind of starting after one, like, so it's not instead of that like that so and the last phrase that i played was so it's kind of starting from the third but i'm result it's this is the third of of third degree of the scale which is so to, to go to the third, I'm going from a flat third, I'm resolving to the third from the flat third, just a hammer on or a slide from a flat third to the third. This is the lick. Same thing in the mid octave. Same exact thing, so. And the last one is. So this is third, root, flat seven, fifth, now this is the note that is the fourth degree of the scale, which hardly matters, like even if I'm using, which is not part of the scale, part of the C dominant seven chord, but it's kind of just just to, to resolve it and starting to the next phrase. So and the last note that I played is a flat third I, sh I could have played instead of that but it's kind of anyways resolving to the root so the last phrase again i hope you have gained some knowledge out of this lesson and if you really have then feel free to subscribe to the channel for more lessons